So we will start off our class with our daily prayer. If SD could please call a student to the mic. Um, um, I was reading from the, Qur the Quran, which has a... Um... Okay, so we'll call the student to the mic. G1716, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalamu wa How are you today? Good. Good alhamdulillah. So we'll start off with dawahs. Make sure everyone else is reading as well. So if you could please start us off. Well done. And the translation, please. I see refuge with Allah from the hand that rejects this. Well done. And then Dasmia. Bismillah. Harishman. Nirakim. Well done, really good job. And then the translation as well for me. In in the name of Allah, the, the gracious, the the merciful. the merciful. Well done, a really good job. Now as it is Wednesday, so I'll move on to the Wednesday's prayer. So I'll read this once and then you can have a go as well. Rabbi alimni ma huwa khayrun imdak. Rabbi alimni ma huwa khayrun well done, really good job. So I'll read this dua once more again for everyone else in the class. Rabbi alimni ma huwa khayrun imtak. If you could just finish this up, the translation. Oh my lord, teach me what what is best for me in your knowledge okay well done so this dua is from the Eskira. moving forwards to our class etiquettes so please make sure everyone has come with the correct id uh, this is essential make sure you have practice supervision meaning your mom or your dad is with you with your class so if you need any help during the class then they can help you make sure you're sitting in a quiet place so we can easily hear you if you are called to the mic make sure you have a head covering for nasrat a scarf or a dubatta and for the fall a cap or a dopi make sure you're wearing clean clothes it should be like you go into the mosque or if you go to school you wear clean clothes to the mosque or school this should be the same principles over here and lastly make sure you have done abudition or wazul as we will be reading the holy quran so today moving over to our schedule as it's class 47 we're going to be doing a revision lesson for lesson 21 where we'll be holding a quiz so this quiz is going to be exciting and informative for all so for the material of the class we have done tahsin al quran lesson 21 which is on page 85 and the quiz that we will be holding for our surah is from the holy quran and it's surah al fil so we'll move on to our quiz 
So for this quiz, I hope it's informative for all and it will be exciting and fun way to learn our work rules. So we have been doing in the class classes where we've been learning the rules of work. So as a quick recap, work means to stop or pause during the recitation, pause at the end of a meaningful sentence or a verse with a break of breath. This is called work. The correct way of pausing at various types of Quranic words are explained below. So we had done this in lesson 21 where we had 11 scenarios and where we read in continuation and then what change will take place in pausing and then lastly how will we read it in pause so this is the key things that we will be doing in the quiz today so we'll start off our quiz first of all there's some key things that we need to remember as whilst we're doing the poll as this is how we will be hosting the quiz the questions will be displayed in your screen as our SD will send in the poll. This will show you the question. Next, it will be multiple choice answer. So there will be four options to choose from where you will be choosing one of them. And then remember to click in submit. So press the selected answer. Select your answer that you think is the best for the question. Remember to press submit so this is how you'll be noted down that you've answered the question then the answer will be revealed so the SD will show us the answer and I hope everyone will enjoy doing this fun and informative quiz so with further ado we will start so for the first question of our quiz what is the correct pause over here so we can see there is me and Meem is carrying a Domatan. Number one, will Meem turn into Sakin? So will it be Meem Sakina? Number two, will it stay the same and have the Domatan on the Meem? Or will the Meem turn into Madhya as a leaf Madhya as there is a leaf and Meem is carrying a Fatha? Or number four, will Meem have a Domma? So if Vesti could please share the poll. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If SD could please Mind share Islam. the poll for us. Yeah, the poll has been shared. Okay, so you'll see on your screen four options where you'll have to choose one of them. And please remember to press submit. Majority of the students have answered okay, so have... one. Okay, so we everyone, alhamdulillah, has got this question correct. So the correct answer is number one. This will be read, Raleem. So we can see Meme will have Sakin as we pause. So this one is rule five from the 11 rules we read. So from the rules of work we read, if we go down to number five, we can see the Nveen of Dhamma. We can see on the Noon Sakin in this example, we have Noon Sakin. The Nveen of Dhamma will change into Sukun. So in just in this scenario, the Noon that has the Nveen of Dhamma will change into Sukun over here, as you can see in the pause aisle. So well done, everyone. Question number two. What is the correct pause here? We can see it is highlighted in yellow. We can see the ha has an inverted dhamma. For number one, will it be the ha changes into dhamma? Or number two, there will be wa madhya as there is wa sakina and ha has a dhamma. Will it be number three? Ha will be sakin. Or number four? Ha will stay the same with the vertical inverted dhamma. So if we could please launch the poll. So 
So I hope that everyone has answered the question. Remember to submit your answer in for the poll. Yeah, so majority of the students have answered number three. Okay, so we'll see. For number three, you're correct. So everyone who answered number three is correct. Alhamdulillah, mashallah. It will be ha with sakin. So it will be ha sakina. So remember, this is rule seven, which I'll show you on the screen. You can see over here for this aisle where it says number seven. In continuation for just this example, this is read Ya Rahu inverted dhamma will be changed into sukun. So ha that is carrying an inverted dhamma will be then changed into sukun. So this is the key thing to remember whilst we're doing inverted dhamma. Just remember for inverted dhamma it will change into sukun. So very well done everyone. So question number three, what is the correct pause over here? We can see Ayn has Fatatan. So what will the pause be? For number one, will it stay the same with Fatatan on the Ayn? Number two, will it be Ayn is carrying a Fatha? Number three, Ayn has the Fatatan, but the Alif is carrying Fatatan as well. Or will it be number four, Ayn has Fatatan? And a leaf has a vertical fatha. So when we launch the poll, remember to choose one of these answers and then remember to press submit. Keeping in mind that this is what will the correct pause be. Okay, so I hope we have got in everyone's answers the majority of the students have answered number two okay so everyone i believe is correct for the number two so this one's rule number nine that we need to remember over here we can see ayn is has fatha so this will be changed into alif madia ayn has fatha and then we have a leaf so i'll show you on the next slide we have rule number nine over here Fatha will alif will be pronounced in place of tanveen, meaning fatatan. Fatatan is over here. The fatha with alif will be pronounced in place of fatha, of fatatan. So in continuation, this example we read. Abawaban. But when we pause, this will be read. Abawaba. So I hope everyone understood the rule for number nine. Moving forward to question number four. What is the correct pause over here? So we can see over here, we have ta at the end, which is carrying a kasra. So I'll read this one for you. Afalati. So then we have our four options over here. Number one, with the ta, change into sakin so will it have just on top or number two the ta will have a kasra so it'll stay the same number three ta will have sukun or number four the it will change to ha with just so sukun So if we could see the answers. Um still waiting for some students to answer. Okay, so remember everyone, please submit your answers to choose one of the four, four options over here. It's either ta with sakin, daima buta with the jazz and Gastra first for number two, a jaz for number three, and for ha with jaz. So remember, everyone, submit your answers. The majority of the students have answered number four. Okay, so well done to everyone who answered number four. The ha will have a jaz, so sukun. This is rule number eight, as we learned in our past classes. 
So over here we can see rule number eight. Tae marbuta will change into ha sakena. So we had tae marbuta. This will then change into ha sakena. So first, in this example, for in continuation, this is musfiratun. But when we pause, this will be read musfirah as it's ha with sakena. So well done to everyone who answered the question correct. Moving on to question number five. What is the correct pause over here? So I'll read this one for you. Dinihi. Will it be number one? Ha will have ya madia. So there will be a rule of ya madia as we have ya sakana. Number two, ha will have a kasra. Number three, ha will have vertical kasra. Or number four, ha will have sukun. So remember everyone, please answer the question. It's one of these four answers. And please remember to press submit. Okay, so I hope that everyone has answered the question. So the answers are divided between option number three and option number four. Okay, so we have option number three and number four that have been divided. So we can see ha it is with vertical kasra and ha over here has sakun. So we'll see which one is correct. So it's number four. So everyone who had number four is correct. This is rule number six. So I'll explain in further detail why it is number six, uh, rule number four, rather than number three. So over here we can see in for number six, cause number six, vertical kasra will change to sukun. Over here, ha has kasra, vertical kasra. Then this will be changed to sukun. Over here, this is the one just for ha. So when we have vertical kasra on the ha, it will change to sukun. So I think most of you might have mixed it up with this rule, number 11. For number 11, there will be no change, only there will be change if the, the letter is ha. So over here, if there is a vertical kasra on the ha, this will then change to sukun. Otherwise, if it's any other letter and it has vertical kasra, then there will be no change and the prolongation will be for two counts. So uh, I hope everyone had understood the rule for number six. Moving forward to the next question. What is the cause, correct cause over here? So I'll read this one for you. Be go min. Number one, will it stay the same with meme with kastratan? Number two, Meme will have sakin, sukun. Number three, the meme will have kasra, and then there will be noon sakin. Or number four, there will be kasra on the meme. So it is one of the four over here. Remember to select your answer and remember to submit it as well. Now remember, we need to find what the correct cause will be. Majority of the students have answered number two. Okay, well done to everyone who answered number two. As this is the correct answer, we have meme sakin. So this is rule number four. Over here, we can see. Then we with kasra will change the sukun. So kasra then we can see in this example we have it on meme meme sakena sorry meme then with kasra then so this will then change it to meme sak saken which is displayed over here which will be read mahtum so remember this one as this is number four for our rules of work moving on to the next question for number seven what is the correct pause over here. So this is red. So will it be 
So it stays the same, but ya has sakin. Number two, we can see ra is has a kasra, and ya has sakin, sukun. Number three, ra has a fatha, and there is a leaf rather than a ya. And then number four, ra has a fatha, and ya has sukun. So it's one of these four options. Remember to press your answer, select your answer, and then submit it. Keeping in mind that we need to find the correct pause. So if this is in continuation, then how will we read it if we pause? I hope that everyone has answered the question. Still waiting for some answers, but majority have um, chosen number one. Okay. So make sure everyone has answered the question. So I will reveal the answer now. So it's not number one, it's number three. This is rule number 10 from the rules of work. So I'll explain in further why it is number three. So remember in this example, there is a leaf and a raw, it has a fatha. So on this slide, we can see on number 10, in continuation for this example, this is red. Yes, sir. For this one, there will be no change. It will just be prolonged for two counts. So when we pause, we will read it the same and it will be read, yes. So this is why it's number three. So moving on to the next question. What is the correct pause over here? So I'll read it for you. So number one, will it stay the same? And the meme will have Wilma. Number two, meme will have Sukun. Number three, meme will have a Dhamma. But then we have Wao Sakina. So this will be Wao Madhya. On number four, meme will have Dhammatan. So if you could choose the answer. So it's one of these four. Remember to select your answer. And then submit it. Make sure everyone is participating. majority of the students have answered number two. Okay, so well done to everyone who answered number two. Uh, this is rule three from the rules of work. The meme will turn into Sakin, so we meme Sakina for over here. So we'll explain why in further detail over here. For number three, as this is rule number three, as Dhamma will change to Sakun. Dhamma, for this example, Na'abudu. This is read in continuation. When we pause, it will be read Na'abud. So the Dhamma will change the Sukun. Well done to all who answered that correctly. Moving on to number nine. What is the correct pause over here? So I'll read this one for you. So for number one, will it be Ha with the Fatha and Alif as well? So it's Alif Madhya. Number two, ha has kasra, and then we have ya, sakina. Number three, will it stay the same with kasra on the ha? Or number four, ha will have jaz, sukun, or sukun. So make sure everyone has selected one of these four options, and then remember to press submit so we know, know that you've answered the question. Okay, so I hope that everyone has submitted their results.
uh, majority of the students have um, said number four. Okay, so well done to everyone who said number four, as this is rule number two from the rules of Vox. Ha will not have kasra, it will change into sukun as we pause. So this is rule number two because kasra will change to sukun as a continuation we have in this example, yaumi. But when we pause, we will add a sukun to the meme for this scenario. Yaum. So this is how we will read it in pause. Moving on to the next question. Question number 10. What is the correct pause over here? So we pause over here and we have noon with fatha. So will the noon in number one, will it have a kasra? Will the noon have a fatha for number two? Number three, will the noon have jazz or sukun? Number four, will it carry a dhamma? So remember to select your answer and then submit it. So I hope everyone has selected the answer. Majority of the students have said number three. So well done to everyone who have said number three. So this is rule number one of the rules of work, which I'll explain in further over here. So it's number one for the rules of work. Fatha will change to sukun. So we need to keep in mind that for our short strokes, we have fatha, kasra, and dhamma. This one's easy to remember as the short strokes will change into sukun. So over here in the continuation, we will read the liga. But when we pause, we'll change it into the lik. Moving on to question 11. What is the correct pause here? So we have noon again, where we are pausing over here. Will we read number one as noon with fatha? Number two, noon with sakin, so sukun. Number three, noon with kasra. And number four, noon with dhamma. So remember to select one of your answers and then submit it as well. I hope this one's easy to for everyone as we've just recapped that in question 10. Majority of the students have chosen number two. Okay, so well done to everyone who chose number two, as this one's rule one, as I just explained before. So for number one, fatha will change to sukun, as I've said before. So the ka in this example has fatha, which changes to sukun. So very well done, everyone. So for number 12, what is the co correct pause over here? So as we pause over here, we have wa with fatha. Will it stay the same with wow with fatha? Number two, will the wow have sukun? Number three, will the ha have fatha and wow have sukun? Or number four, I will stay the same with doma, but there will be hamza sakin for on the wow. So make sure you select one of the four options and then submit it as well. So it's either one, two, three or four. And remember to submit in your answer so we know you've entered your answer. Majority of the students have chosen number two. It's okay, so a well done to everyone who chose number two. As this is rule one, as we have fatha again for continuation. So for over here, we see fatha will change to sukun. As when there is a continuation, if there is fatha at the end, then we will change it into sukun as this is part of our short strokes. So well done to everyone who answered that correctly. Okay, so number 13, what is the correct pause over here? So we have yeah at the end where we are pausing. 
which has a vertical kasra. So number one, will the ya at the end have sukun? Number two, will it change into vert kasra? So just kasra. Number three, will the ha change into kasra? And ya, the second ya, have sakin, so sukun, just. Or number four, it will stay the same. So it will have vertical kasra on the ya. So it's either the, from one of the four options. Remember to make your answer and then we'll see who the majority is. So remembering for this one that this one has vertical kasra on the ya. So if this is what we read in continuation, how will we read it? When we pause, so I hope everyone has answered the question. Majority of the students have chosen number one, and second most answers are for number four. Okay, so I understand why people might have said number one. So the correct answer is number four. This is rule eleven. So. We can see over here, rule people chose number one and people chose number four. So it's rule number 11 and others might have chosen number four for theirs because we can see for number 11, there will be no change in prolongation for two counts. So in this scenario, we can see this is the example that we had in the quiz. So there will be no change, there, as the ya has vertical kastra, there will be no change. We'll be prolongating it for two counts, as usual. But for number four over here, in this example, oh, sorry, for this one, over here, we can see ha has vertical kastra. So this is just for ha. If ha has vertical kastra, then we change it into sukun. Otherwise, any other letter, it will be the same and it will have uh, will be prolonged for two counts. So for ha, it will be vertical gastra. Ha with vertical gastra, it will change it to sukun. So this is the key thing that we need to remember. As over here, he, uh, might, people might have said sukun because it, there is ya. So this is going to be vertical gastra. And it will just stay the same and we will prolong for two counts as usual. So I hope everyone understood this rule. This one is a key thing to remember. So number six and number 11, we need to keep the difference between them. If there is ha with vertical gastra, it will change into sukun. If there is any other letter with vertical gastra, it will stay the same and the prolongation will be for two counts. So I hope everyone understood the question and well done to everyone who answered it correctly. So moving on to question number 14, what is the correct pause over here? So we're going to pause over here. So for the timer buta, timer buta has the dhamma, we pause over here. So how will we read this? So for number one, will there be a leaf? And then lab with sukun. Number two, will the timer buta have the dhamma as usual? Number three, will the timer buta have sukun? Or number four, will there be ha with sukun? Okay, so please select your options and submit it as well. So keeping in mind that we have Tari Mabuta over here. I hope that everyone has answered the question.
Okay, so. Do we have the results? Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi If you could please share the results with us. Okay, so okay, so I think there might be some slight issues. So no worries. I can see in the chat there has been some answers as well. So I can see most people have answered the number four. So everyone who said number four is correct. So very well done to everyone who said number four. So this is rule eight from the rules of work. We can see there is ha sakina. So I'll explain this further over here. So we can see number eight, rule number eight. And in continuation for this example, we have Thai Marbuta. This will change to Ha Sakina. So for Thai Marbuta, we can see this example. With this will be read, Musfiratun. But when we pause, so whilst we pause, this will be read, Musfirah. So the Thai Marbuta over here for the continuation, if we pause over here, and take a breath, then it will change into ha sakina, as we can see over here in the in cause aisle. So very well done to everyone who answered it correctly. Moving on to our last question. So what is the correct pause over here? So if we pause at the Thaimamuta, which is carrying a gasra, how will we read it if we pause? So, will the time of have Dhamma then? Or will it be Ha with Sakina? Will it be time of with Sakun? Or will it be time of Buddha with Gasra? So, as it's displayed before uh, in continuation. So, remember to choose your answer, select one of these options, and then press submit. Okay, so there is a variety of answers I can see. So we have some with number two and some are going with number four. So we'll see what the answer is. So for this one, their answer is rule number eight. So it's number two. So I'll explain this in further afterwards. So I understand some some most of answered number four, but for this one, as there's timer buta, this will change into hasakina. So I'll explain rule number eight in further detail over here. So we can see rule number eight over here. The timer buta will change to hasakina, as I said before for question number fourteen. So timer buta. In this example, we have Musfiratun. This will change it to Hasakina. Okay, so I hope everyone enjoyed the quiz and I hope it was informative for all. As this is a fun way to learn and this is a fun way how we can revise our rules of work. So we'll move on with our surah. So today we are doing Surah Al-Fil. So some key info that we should know about our Surah that we read. So this Surah is from part 30. And the Holy Quran has 30 parts in total. The chapter number is 105. And the whole Quran, so the Holy Quran, has 140 chapters in total. Surah Al-Fil has six verses. And the Holy Quran has 6,348 verses in total. There is one ruku 
in Surah al fil and the Holy Quran has 558 rakus in total. And for Surah al fil it was 19th order of revelation. And this is a Meccani Surah. So I'll go on to the Surah, so Surah al fil We can see over here, we have our Surah over here. So I'll call a student to the mic. G1774. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa So we'll be reading the surah, surah al fil Did you read Thousand Tasmiyah at the start of the class? Yeah. Okay, so very well done. So we'll start off from here. If you could please have a go at reading it. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, so we'll be starting off from here. If you want, I can read it and then you can follow. Alam Okay, well done, really good job. So over here, there is only one gaff, and over here, there is only one fat. So I'll read this for you, and then you can follow as well. <clears throat> Alam tara kaifa fa'ala rabbuka bi'ashabil fil. So G1774, if you can have a go at reading the first verse. Alam tara kaifa fa'al la rabbuka bi'ashabil fil. Well done, really good job. So does that come for come to the mic? Now we'll call another student. So G1708, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. G1708. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam How are you today? Huh? Pardon? Okay, so we'll start off with this third verse over here. Okay. So I'll read this once we hear and then you can have a go as well. Alam yaj'al kaidahum fi tadlil Alam yaj'al kaidahum fi tadlil Well done, really good job. So Jazakum Allah for coming to the mic, now we'll call another another student Allah Hafiz so now I'd like to call G1742 Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam how are you how are you today I'm good mashallah how are you alhamdulillah I'm fine as well jazakumullah for asking so we're moving on to the next verse. If you want to have a go yourself, you can have a go, or else I can read it with you. Um, I'd like to have a go by myself. Okay, good job. So, <clears throat> and from what what Yes. Okay. Um, should I start with um, that's me. That's me. Uh, like Bismillah. If you had read it, if you had read it at the start of the class, no worries. You can start off with ours. Okay. Audu Billah, he mean a shaitan in a jee. 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وأرسل عليهم تيرا نبابيل in the starting classes of our G1 course, we had learned about our, our letters, so how we pronounce our letters. So this letter is for, so we'll read this thing. So I can read this once for you, and then you can have a go as well. <laughs> وأرسل عليهم طير النبابين. Well done. And if you could just finish off, finish us off with the last two verses. Okay. ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل. Should I read the last one? Yes, please. Okay. Fajalahum ka asfim maku. So very well done. G1742. A great job. So this is Surah Field. So I'll move on to our homework. So we can see the homework is over here on the screen. So you can revise this in 21 again. So for the walkthroughs. So you can find in the Google Drive, you can find the page of the Tahsil Quran for the material, or you can revise the quiz and also listen to Surah Al. So you can listen to Surah al fil on Al-Islam, which is the Holy Quran, chapter 105. So you can practice reciting it at home. Whilst um, you can practice it with your parents. So these are just two homeworks for today. So we'll finish us our class with our prayer. G1705. Wa alaikum salam How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Tazakum la fraski. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay, good. If you could please start off with Dawahs and Dasmiya. And the translation? I seek refuge with Allah from Satan, the rejected. Bismillah And the translation, please. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. Well done. So this is our closing prayer. If you could have a go at reading it. Allah Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the Quran, the great. Well done. And over here as well. Watch, watch, Holy Imam of Banu Rabbahu, Dumbarahmat. And make it for me the leader, the light, the, gu the guidance, and the mercy. Very well done. So, just for everyone who participated in the class and in the quiz. So, we'll finish Allah off our Allah class over here. Allah Hafiz. So we'll finish off our class over here. Jazakumullah for attending. And remember to join for 
our concluding session tomorrow. So, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.